Oof. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, it's a, it's a day where I get to play a video game? Holy fuck. Hello, Freezy. Hello, Ticonderoga. Hello, TK. Oh, wow. Even weirder is... Hold on. Let me just get everything set up. Dicks! Ah! Hello. This is, this is going to be weird because this gets to be the actual test of me rearranging my room. Unlike the other couple days where, no. or last week, where uh, from Wednesday, when I actually rearranged my room to Sunday, yesterday, um, I was on the computer, as in, I was staring at these monitors over here. Like, I, I, I'm staring at you, Chad, right here, where you kind of are. But then again, OBS was on this window instead of that window, and it, you know. But now I get a game in which I'm playing off the, the TV instead of, like, the computer. So now I get to figure out whether or not this new setup that I have did actually works. And we'll be doing that via, um, like a dragon, I guess. Like a dragon. Um, okay, I need to remember how to play the video game though. Okay, so there's, um, wait, no, uh, how do I toggle, uh, icon, icon, there we go. So this is, um, date, so I'm not doing that. So that really leaves the ones down here, these five plus whatever comes after that, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to, I, I really just want to go and do Don Doko. I really just want to do Don Doko. Ow! Hello, Fox. Came rubbed hell? I thought I, oh, I guess I didn't, uh, I guess I was the one that I forgot. I knew I would forget something um here we go uh let's see here we go there's that and then there's that there we go everything should be hooked back up now see like i i had to make sure everything was hooked back up but then like i was also uh, preparing for next week and the the, the when i cut what i'm doing in the middle of next week. Wait, do you want to go to Don Doko? No, oh, I want to talk to him because he Ooh. wants to go to Don Doko. I don't <laughs> care, I'm not reading that. But anyways. So, I guess I did forget a couple of things. I thought I got everything. I at least made sure the sounds were were in place. Mostly because I just like, yeah, if I, sounds are important. Sounds are fucking important. Quacks and backs and blacks. I got the I got the Alright. We got to meet the criteria for a four-star resort. But it's also middle of the night, so... And also, wait, I kind of have everything maxed out, so really... It doesn't matter as much as it does, like... Hmm. Hold on. I need furnishings, how about that? I already made a shave. Wait, if I want to sort, I should sort by... Not craftable. Satisfaction? Maybe? Huh. Fair. 
Oh, I don't have enough materials. I get that. Okay, armchair. How about that? I want to put some stuff in Kasuga's house. Hmm. Okay. Uh, fuck. Put everything in storage. Wait, how do I? Oh, yeah. This button. Oh, there was a Tsuchinoko there. Ouch. You know what? I'll put a dream machine within fucking Kasuga's house. Fuck it. Um. Wait, hold on. Here we go. Huh? Oh, Jesus Christ, 135. Oh shit, Freezy. Holy shit, 135 fucking. Uh, Grim. He get I almost have him at max help. Actually, hold on. Don't I need to do? Oh no, this game again. Over a third of a year. Yeah, are you proud? I'm. I'm. I'm not unproud. Don't call me Poppy. No, this game again. I know. Let me expand my house. Oh, can't do that during the night. Shit. Yeah, I want to finish up the side stories. We'll be done by the end of this week. And I'm pretty sure every game that I'm doing this week will be done by the end of this week. Which includes the DLC <laughs> for 16, which came out last week. Kamakichi says, good morning. Let's make this a tour to remember. You're right, Kamakichi. I'll give him my 100%. Let me check tour status. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, did, I, I was able to put one, but I wasn't able to put people in it. Ichimasu. Something. Let me see if I can just go ahead and expand the house. Build a second floor. Oh, wow. I don't have the money for that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like that's too much. That was too much money. Also, if if I've if I've done this, why the hell is there still trash here? There shouldn't be any trash here. I, I think I know why I kind of like this mode even if it's like very basic is like i really have this like i'm gonna say weird appreciation but just like this innate urge for like weird sim stuff it's kind of why i go back to like uh city skylines every now and then you suck Hello, everyone. Whoops. I just, I like it when I'm able to just make my own little thing, my own little city thing. Hmm. Hi. You suck. Better shut up. Hmm. 
I guess that's why I started playing a lot of RimWorld because I was like, I'm gonna put Vinny on on the on while I'm doing other things, and then like I just kept watching season three of RimWorld, and I'm like, damn, this actually kind of hmm, I kind of want to play something like this right now. And then eventually I just bought Worm World and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Th that, that was worth it, except for like how expensive like buying all of Worm World is. Literally, just please, please, just, just, uh, uh, like, for half off the fucking expansions. Fucking goddamn. Do that. Like, or like permanent, permanent half off. Ten bucks. I'm willing to spend ten bucks to get like, like the thing that allows you to, 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 to have ro royalty or ideologies or whatever. Um. Oh wait, I forgot this stuff up here. I don't think this adheres to. Yeah, it doesn't adhere to it. Okay. So I guess a few more days of this and then this will be cheap enough to buy. Buy up, right? Yeah, I need 800,000. Fuck. Alright, I guess I'm going to go over to the smaller island and collect everything. Piss this person, fuck. I forgot I gotta fucking deal with these suspicious people. Okay, cool. Actually, wait, I'm almost at like 800,000 already. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, it, it helps that like I have so many people coming around. Um, let's see. I just picked things up here, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I also have to do the Sujimon battle up there, don't I? Maybe. Oh wait, no, I don't because the thing didn't say do Sujimon. Where's my Suchi Noko? Give me Suchi Nokos. There's a Suchi Noko. At least one. I can sell my Suchi Noko and be like, yeah, look at this. Look at my fat fucking snake that I shoved in my pocket. Ooh. Oh yeah, I have to get some of the, the level up. I still need to increase whatever the satisfaction or likes is. Got about that aspect. Though, I guess as I clean up the island... Let's see, hold on. Um... Yeah, popularity. Uh, where is the popularity thing? Like, how do I get to see how much is popular? No, like, how do I clear up, get to popularity up? Because I can't, I can't invite all the big, big shots. Unless popularity huge. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, as long as I... I can basically just ignore the guests at this point, can't I? Like, they just... They just go from place to place and just look at things and be like, Yep, that's a thing. Um, wait, isn't here fishing? Ah, there we go. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish that's like 100%. Yo, was that an axolotl? Octopus? Octopussy? I just kind of forgot. Oh, wait, I should. Hmm. I should do things to increase popularity and place those down. I should have been doing that today. Oh well. Go fishing. Go fish. Silicant. Yes. Jellyfish. Crawfish. Yes. There we go. Okay, I keep on hitting L3 to, to try to go fast, but that was stupid. I can't hit L3 to go fast. Wait, what was I using L3 to go fast for? Oh, yeah, fucking Final Fantasy 7. It's like I was, I was doing that with something. Ebi Suban. Wait, let me see if I can make things that, that, that get popular. Oh, this has popularity to it. Uh, this has popularity to it. Um, a traditional Japanese building. Um, a Taro the Demon? Oh, Tinkaichi Street Gateway. Oh, boy. Oh, but that only goes up by 30, and this is 50. Hmm. Hmm. Love hotel, fine. People love a love hotel. Um, but now I seem to have wasted everything. Fuck. All right, well, shit. I guess we're putting down what I just made. Hold on. Um, bag. Now, who doesn't like to be across the street from a love hotel, right? Oh God, it's so big. So massive. Okay, you're not gonna be across the street from a love hotel. You're gonna be right next. Oh wait, come on. can I? Yeah.
There we go. Popularity up. You know what? That's enough for today. Probably. Tadaima. Tadaima. <laughs> God. Oh. I don't want a chicken coop. Uh, well, actually, I might have to do that. Shit, I might actually have to make one. Or I can just start selling things. Wait, can I sort this by... I wish I could just sort this by, like, most expensive. Like that? Anyways, let's reduce the price of the funny thing uh, before we go. Because I feel like we, if I actually just hammer it home, I could finish this part today. So I might just sit back about halfway through it. Ooh. About halfway through it and just, you know. Just call it and then, like, go back and do some more side stuff and then. Wherever we get to by the end of this week is where we get to by the end of this week. It's always fun, like, going back to these stupid side quests and then remembering why these side quests are like that. Because, you know... Hey, work a little harder. The side quests are funny. I am working. Look at how much trash I'm I'm cleaning up. Man, I got like a million Dundoko bucks. You suck. Shut up. Wait, I'm in battle? With who? Oh. Okay, I'm no longer in battle. Hold on. You know what? We're going to clear it out already. There we go. We now hit all the requirements. Hey, that's a rainbow one. Oh no, wait, where are the sus? Where's sus? Okay, I guess the susses are not here because I need to call the review board. Alright. Yep, call them out here even though there's like three piles of garbage right there. Hello, Sean. I'm not a frog. Hmm, I see you successfully opened. A number nine large. Did I make? Oh, I might have not have connected up the raid stuff. Number seven. Hold on. Two number forty-fives. One with cheese. Hell no, one's a raid. And a large soap. Until I hit this this raid. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't put this in here. Q Zava, what's your favorite game? A. Frogger. Kero Kero. Real. No. No, it's not. I, I've... I think I've only played Frogger like once ever. Never make me wa uh, much nooms. Play Cancer again. Hello, my other account is Yeah, I saw they were playing Cancer, but eh. 
No, I seem to open up every area. Increase the facilities seems to have led to a boost in satisfaction with popular and traffic on the rise, which bears striking resemblance to the Don Duggo Island I remember. It's after the island's been completely revived. Meaning Meaning you pass on Duggo is once again officially a four star resort. But we gotta get to five stars. <laughs> Whoopee! Finally four stars. Sweet! Oversized garbage pickup, garbage sorting station, garden kits. Here's the funding you've earned. Use it to find the ultimate getaway, a five star resort. Wow, 500,000. There, here are the requirements to become a five star resort. Okay, so we basically only have one of them, which is improve and maintain public safety. Oh, we can actually just do that now. Q, Zava, what's your least favorite game? A, Gex. I hate lizards. Ribbit, ribbit. Real. Bullshit. I actually kind of like the first Gex game. Now, the second Gex game is kind of eh. But the third, and the third is better. So, no, no, I actually like Gex. Fuck you. Fuck you for lying, Avalon. Jesus Christ. What's the means to improve and maintain public safety? Well, Ava, are we revisiting this game to do side quests or new game plus or what's going on? Hey Bruce, um, I'm finishing side quests in Premium Adventure. I am I cannot do New Game Plus because Sega's finally decided to give us the official Japanese experience. As in the official ja in Japan, New Game Plus for some reason is like an extra thing. Like we always got New Game Plus built right in, but like Japan is good, never. Dave. God, why are y'all talking? No, hello, Spencer. How's it going? Uh, hell, also, hello, Monsako. Dev streams are sitting. He's playing Suicide Squad. Gex is far ahead of... Yes! It is. Hold on. This cat wants out. I have to go across. Fuck okay. you, I know. <laughs> ah. Can you explain the game to me? Is it based on a movie? Uh, okay, so Suicide Squad, the, the, the game that came out recently, is part of the Arkham universe. Except that it's it 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 fuck you. It they they try to make it part of the Arkham universe. They try, they try so hard. Hey, spoilers! Um, it's it's a multiverse story. I'm fucking I'm spoiling Suicide Squad. It's a multiverse story. The ending's the the worst thing in the world because it's meant to be a live service game. No, meaning that a ri no meaning that the Arkham Asylum games are in the Suicide Squad timeline. Like, the beginning of the game is them going, yeah, this is part of the Arkham timeline. And you go, what? Fuck you. No. Fuck you. Well, security is paramount to for a five star resort. Your island must be completely safe and free of danger. Guarantee you guest safety. A particular group that's been hostile towards you must be eliminated thoroughly. You mean wash particles, don't you? Correct. They've been a new uh, nuisance to other resorts as well. These scoundrels have been nothing but make trouble all around. As much as we would like to do something about it, they're an elusive, extraordinary, violent bunch, which makes them difficult to deal with. The only person who can deal with them is you, Kasuga-san. For the sake of the Dondoko Island and all other resorts as well, will you take a stand against them? It... <sighs> It's what happens when a publisher goes, Hey, dev team that makes a bunch of single player games. Why don't you make a, a live service game? And then everybody who has been there for a while goes no and leaves the company. So that the people who are there have to like deal with making a an awful game and experience and at no point does anyone at wb go oh we should just we sh we should just 
can this project which which is the fucked up thing about when when you th think about that wb will 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 fucking take a movie an animating movie that is done and go oh we're not releasing this for tax write-off dumping in the trash but then release suicide squad <laughs> is as and always makes the stories worse it's okay so here's here's my thing about multiverses i think multiverses can work if they're done as a crossover thing they can work as a crossover thing like if you wanted sonic and fucking um uh, Mega Man to cross over that is technically a multiverse story because it's universe A universe B two universes it's why I'll sit back and say that the worlds unite uh, storyline from the Archie Sonic and Archie Mega Man comics is really great it's gonna have tax off they are in charge of animation uh no what I mean is like I the, <sighs> Everybody decided to chase chase a live service trend because the entire industry for the last 40 years has been about chasing trends. Is that sometimes you could get away with chasing trends, but in the last like 10 years or so, chasing a trend like live service can bankrupt you. Which is kind of the, the even the worst part of that is like they're now chasing these infinite money trends but like you're going to lose more money than you're going to make like the only way you're going to be able to do any kind of life service thing is if it's wholly unique and is is built in such a way where it kind of just in a multiverse, there might be a universe where Zava is a Shut lizard up, instead of a frog, current, unlike this one. That's a, Imagine this how one, weird that this. universe must be Zava Phono Kappa. Yeah, you know what? Dicantro was right. No, it, it can be fun. It's just the, the problem I have of it is that it's they do the boring thing of universe A is like universe B, except maybe one thing's changed. Instead of having different universes that are widely different where characters are extremely like different in general, it's just like nah it's fucking th this this Peter Parker didn't get circumcised. Fuck you. <laughs> Has any uh I would sit back and say the the what I was building up to with that one, Monsuko, is Fucking Helldivers is live service. It, like everybody, Helldivers Two has been live service game. Is technically a live service game. Yeah, th th that I I I that one is the stupidest one, Daikonjuroga. But but like if it's like Project Cross Zone, where it's like a bunch of different Capcom like characters and Namco characters and Sega characters. And maybe a couple of monolith soft characters who have never interacted before in any kind of format get together because of some cross universal threat that that works or hell even how xenoblade xenoblade chronicles technically has a multiverse where it's like but it's it's entire multiverse is vastly different where it's like oh this universe is so different than this universe and three is the crossover kind of <laughs> but yeah it, it's it, it's good evening zava boy oh, i can Tora see Rock. into your search history with my millennium mm -hmm. eye i can see that you searched harley quinn model rip gang bang honking boobs consensual non-consent with close-ups of feet and armpits you need to double check that millennium eye jesus fucking christ like that that's the other thing like i i'll be honest i really haven't like harley quinn's design in a long long time i i, I kind of hate the punk clown look then nobody knows what the fuck kingdom hearts no kingdom hearts is simple in comparison <laughs> kingdom hearts is like there are multiple worlds 
but like if you want to talk timeline they they don't do alternate timelines like in kingdom hearts is weirdly enough not even multiverse they just go every every this is a different world so you just go with okay that that's whatever Good riders can make practically any premise settings deciding well run including the multiverse it's a modern writer just shit in our modern age writing immersive versus trendy yes that's hello jadoski it pretty much is like multiverses became the new thing because you had the cinematic universe trend and now you got multiverse trend and i think part of that was across the spider-verse was successful and so like everybody is like do it do it i'm like no just 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 do just do what you want or or if you're going to do multiverse stuff make it interesting like hell I, I was the writers could... are not intelligent enough to pull <laughs> off multiverse make something that is wholly unique and and that's why like as much as i i haven't watched even into the spider-verse but the fact that it's like oh here's all these different spider-men and it's like oh it's spider pig and spider-man noir and penny parker who is legitimately even galleon and fucking and then spider gwen but i don't remember what that but like you have five five or six different spider-men who are vastly different but i but it's it's now like here's 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 a different loki he's going to replace loki fuck you know what you know, know what that kind of reminds me of okay so the archie sonic comics back then because reminder the archie sonic comics haven't existed for about i would like to say seven years now but this is long ago this is like um mid like late 90s um so the rg sonic comics has always dealt with there is a multiverse within sonic um and one of like when they killed off robotnik in issue 50 and then they had to bring him back they legitimately pulled a robotnik from a different um universe that one but this one was this is a robotnik that won the only time he ever lost was when the sonic from the main universe went to help the alternate universe sonic but like after the defeat he came back it's like you know ro this robo robotnik because he just wins he's he roboticizes everything comes like they're like no i'm coming back to this one because remember when you. one piece had a time skip that was really well received because it was built up to for hundreds of chapters and then kubo went yeah everyone will love bleach if i do a time skip and he did it at the obvious very end of the series after beating the obvious final big bad and artificially lengthened the series in a way that made no sense in terms of power scaling or internal continuity this is why you don't just do things because other people are doing things. I do, I never watched Bleach. All, all I know about Bleach is the bounce. I've heard like you you watch the anime and then you get to the bounce arc, which is a filler arc, and and that's it. That the, the, that's where <laughs> Bleach goes downhill or something like that. But it's like they pulled Robo Robotnik out and they made him the new Robotnik and like just as kind of a replacement uh but anyways there are three things writers should avoid because they're so broken room builds for writing gun conflict multi multiple universes bringing people back from death time travel yeah honestly i <sighs> The thing with time travel is that you have to establish a rule on time travel and adhere to that rule. 
but yeah like the fun part about that monsoko is like all three of those things are what comics have actually all three of those things are sometimes what manga has as well except that i feel like it's it's fine with manga hell like dragon ball like it, it, that that's the fun part like dragon ball has all three of those dragon ball has all three of those and at very least rick and morty have... ruined the multiverse concept and in <laughs> some cases they can't make up their mind if something is in another universe or just another planet in the same universe i stopped caring about rick and morty a long time ago but dragon ball has like all three of those like legitimately people come back from the dead and we kind of r went around to, uh, around that fact Imagine By... if you just killed Kefka once and for all and then there there's a two-year time skip and it turns out Hello, Kefka Rock wasn't the real but villain. But there is the hydrate. Was... Hydrate is there. Oh, you I don't fucking know. idiot. Go and See look, you stupid moron. You stupid idiot. You blind motherfucker. Dragon Ball didn't have to say we all just liked it anyways. Huh? Watch this, Snitzel. There. <laughs> Do we find it? God. Mm. We all disliked it. I wouldn't say it. Like, maybe it doesn't have, like, the best writing, but I was if I could say that it's still entertaining. Ow. Mm. Anyways. Uh, imagine just kill Kef for once for all this. Do more or something. God. Man, time travel is awful in Dragon Ball, but we overlook it because logic was never the selling point in Dragon Ball. I mean, true. They even tried to, 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 to solve that issue and they never did, but like... It leads to... I guess it's the thing of how much how much you put importance into it you can have it but is it key to the story hmm it made logical sense it was over 12 years ago whoa but i wouldn't say like it's badly written time travel in dragon ball z wasn't really time travel it was ironically more alternate universe travel no no see it, it's time travel there was it kept making split timelines so like he went back in time but it creates an alternate timeline but trunks goes back to his original timeline because it can't because of that and it, it happens like three or four times different version of timeline by the way they don't just mention it very often but the same same as dr slump and dr slump has single universe time travel but it wasn't good enough to actually do true drive wow damn well that's i guess that's true if if you're the person who makes arl then yeah mm. time travel will shut up my other countism damn i have been just sitting here doing nothing upon the gameplay but yeah it's It, it's like Final Fantasy 14 technically has time travel. It just has time travel that only affects one thing and kind of makes a split timeline, but we don't care about that split timeline. You know, that, that split timeline only gets taken care of in like a short story. You just continue on with the main timeline. I become his own grandpa in Futurama. True. See, it's it's more or less like it has to be not the main focus, but like just a small element. And did the nasty in the past? Jesus Christ. Look, it's fine. It smells like autism in here. It does. The reason why Dragon Ball is used. It's also like Time Cop. I don't give two shit. It's like Time Cop is only like like time travel is one element. There's a lot more going on. I kind of like watching Time Cop. 
if only for the fact that I think that Iraqi took Time Cop and used that as the reason for D4C in part seven. There is too much of similarity between what happens when the past and future selves touch each other in Time Cop and like when when two different people the same person from two different universes touch with d for c it's like it's super similar to a point that there is no way he didn't watch time cop i know he watched time cop mm. anyway not for free but tend to award you a great prize of all What's the call? Figured I had to sell things one of these days. Now the perfect tech to kill two Easy. birds with one store. All right, I'll do it. The pirates are going down for sure. We have high hopes for you. Until next time. Well, my first was the one. Wait. Okay, that was just four star resort. Okay, so how do I, how do I maintain the peace then? I need to maintain the peace. about this that's some big talk man yeah i'm sure it's the only way you protect our seriously though why did they set for dumping that trash on resorts oh. you see dread pirate hook he he got some deep secret anger and resentment towards resorts okay but why well the thing no. is he used to own a resort of his own back in the day what What do you mean permanently close eyes? What the fuck? I wasn't paying attention. Jesus Christ. Y'all breaking my models. Zavagoth that... Van of Peace. Yeah. It's probably because multiple throws happened. Fuck. I wasn't paying attention. And also shush. There's a tiny island in Dondoko. It's called Zundoko Island. A humble, nice little place he ran with his folks. Even though it was small, it was a beautiful island with flowing with nature. Every night, it was a comfortable stay, but the locals and regulars loved it. A rich man had his island place and offered to invest in it one day. Sounds good to be true. Right. In exchange for a large investment, the man proposed to develop the island into a highly profitable resort targeted at celebrities. Naturally, a hook opposed plan, but his parents went along with it. The only's natural environment was destroyed, so all the all the resort could be remade to is a playground for the wealthy. And the celebrities that came look for a place uh, all through noisy parties, day in the day out, littering the polluting island. In the end, Zunduk Island lost its natural charms it was unknown for and became a floating trash heap no way wanted to see, never mind visit. <sighs> of course, this led to a falling out between Hook and his family, causing them to split up. So explains the rage. But why would he, why would he do the thing that led to the thing that happened to his island? Anyways, more than me tell, I'm sure he doesn't like seeing guests enjoying themselves at thriving resorts. But that doesn't make things right or sense. Subaru. Sure, the rich man's in the wrong for destroying nature and celebrities for polluting the island. Mm. But the watchbokers are still the bad guys, aren't they? Yes. I understand if they were trying to met out punishment, but in the end, Dread Pirate Hook keeps dumping il waste illegally and ruining nature too. So, isn't that the same as the awful celebrities? Ah. <laughs> You're really a kid genius. That's exactly right. Humans are at fault here. No matter how you slice it, there's no justice in littering and polluting the planet. Absolutely, I think Hook's also worthy. Somewhere deep in his heart. But I doubt he'll back down. Ooh, yeah. Well, it's just gossiping about other people. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing voices anymore. Not for right now. Hey, it's fixed. Shush. Assholes for polluting bad. Red pirate. Uh, you see, you crawled out of the way for your first star hotel. Uh, rating. How commendable. I'll give you a round of applause. But it's costing our business. Dumping was the best landfill we could have ever asked for. I can't say I appreciate the spring cleaning. I'm done playing around. We're going to trade our trash heap back in one fell swoop. Not today, unfortunately. I need to step back, freshen up, make all the necessary preparations, savvy. Just sit tight and you get thrashing nah. you deserve. Hmm. I get why you're doing this, but what's the point of polluting and destroying nature yourself? That's just wrong. Wrong or right? What well, does it matter? I don't care. Not when I enjoy life of leading now. The rich pay me to take their trash and I dump the garbage all over the resorts they love so much. 
the more they indulge in luxuries the more trash they need thrown away and the more trash the more money i rake in at the cost of their little playgrounds <laughs> lovely little cycle in isn't it have to disagree i think it's messed up then you have the world for, for blame for letting these crimes go unpunished wouldn't you say oh, you. no that marks the end of the conversation let's get back to seizing this island same day whatever He wouldn't even let us get a word in yet. Guess if we then uh, open the parlay, the only thing we do is take him out. This is the kind guy he is. Knowing him, he'll probably have his men come once we meet the criteria for a five-star resort. We do right now. Let's prepare the battle for aiming, when we're aiming for that five-star. But we can do that right now. <laughs> Legitimately, I can just finish this. Well, actually, before I finish it, I'm going to place a building here. Wait, I need I need to grab the building out of the storage. Fuck. The storage. Fuck. Uh, okay. The only problem is I really need to get S ranks so I can get all the all the fun other people to come here. Um, bag. Wait. Um, can you be here? Actually, can you be? There we go. I think we need all the criteria to get that five star rating. Let's double check this right away. Wow, easy. Oh, con wow, congrats. Thank you so much. Now let's uh, defeat the washbucklers. Right, that'll be the final showdown. It's washbuckler. That heading to Don Doko Beach. <laughs> Looks like I'm making first move. All right, time to take it down a notch. Things are going to get dangerous, so everyone stay away from the beach for a time. Take this for each you. Here's some health stew. Let's go, Kasuga. This is it. Time to end this one after all. Hopefully you've 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 increased his health and done all of that. Hmm. Am I ready for the final showdown? Cool. Oh, how surprising. I didn't expect you to come and personally welcome us to your, your, our, your little island. Oh, hospitable. I see why you're deserving a five stars. Uh, appreciate the compliment, but that's not what I'm welcome part. I'm here to get, tell you how to get out of hell off our island. No way you'll be bringing this place down ever again. And if I say no, well, in that case, I'll protect this island with everything I got. Hmm, you'll be able to... Dude, look, you're outnumbered. <laughs> My lads are rambunctious lot. They're just itching to go wild and trash your resort. <laughs> if I win, you'll never come to this island again, deal? Ooh. Fine by me, an unlikely event you win. I'll even disband my group or whatever you want me to do. Don't you go eating those words now. Oi. All right, lads, we're open for business. Chop, chop, destroy this fool in this island. We are yeah. the wash burglars. Wow. Oh wait, it was this button for I actually kind of forgot what the dodge button was Even though it's on the screen
What? Okay, he's down. Also, there's still suspicious people at the island. Is that it? Is that everybody? Wow. Amazing. Fantastic. Wonderful. How how the hell can one man be so strong? <laughs> Unlike you, I've got something to protect. Kasuga-san. Y'all right? Kasuga-san, are you hurt? Oh. Hey, everyone. I'm fine. I'm protected island. Just as promised. Thank you so much. Who to thank you actually beat them? It's crazy. Kasuga-san, the wild man. Wilder than wild. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, then as we agree, the wash sparklers are disbanding as of today. You'll stop illegally dumping your waste here. Huh, you really thought I'd keep my word? We made a deal, and what of it? I'm no honorable warrior or samurai. I'm a wash burglar, a pirate, mind you. We scoundrels are filthy rats and liars alike. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Don't you care about what happens to this last Saiyan? <laughs> Taking hostages now? You're a coward. <laughs> <laughs> As I said before, I'm a pirate. I have no qualms playing dirty. So what's your move? If you so much to breathe wrong, I might slip up and slice her, you know. Stop! Don't you hurt Saya? Yui-chan. I mean it. Don't you let her hand on her. Oh ho, the power of friendship, huh? Brings a tear to mine. No, seriously, you really shouldn't. I'm warning you for your uh -huh. own sake. Pardon? Hey, you, huh? Oh. Cool. And then she beat him again. He picked the wrong hostage. Oh well. A pirate. It is one piece now. Oh, it's been one piece. This is America. The power of guns exists. No, no, sorry. This is fake America. Only this is fake Japan, America, Hawaii. Where everybody speaks Japanese except for the ones who don't. And like nobody owns that many guns. <laughs> Oh well, I tried to war him. Huh, I know clues Saiya Chan was that strong. Yeah, when Saiya gets singers, your life's over. Try not to piss off in the future. Right, noted. <laughs> oh gosh, I was so scared, but I'm glad I played the herd on him. Yep. Uh. Excellent work. Well, with this, we meet all the requirements to become a five star resort. Let's call the resort, resort review board. You fulfilled every card. That means, indeed, and please declare that Dondoko is officially a five-star resort. Wow. Whoa, we did it! Congratulations, everyone, and thank you especially, Kazakhstan. The Washburgers are cleared out because of you. The neighboring resorts are also very grateful for your help. I have, I have. Here's your, here's your reward. A million bucks. A fake money. Thank you, sir. Oh no, not a problem at all. It is my greatest wish that Don Doko Island flourishes for many years to come. Well then, try not keep you any longer until we meet again. I'd like to thank you, uh, you as uh, for everything you've done for us. Thanks to you, we were able to crawl up back up and lift our resort from rock bottom. <laughs> No need to get all formal on me. Besides, I couldn't have done it without everyone teaching everything and helping me out too. This was something we can only accomplish together. We should be proud of ourselves. Eh, <laughs> son. Eh. Look at you, you acting all cool. Shut up, geezer. Shut up, geezer. Okay, how about you shut up for once? Anyways, it's about time for me to go. This might be a long shot, but I have to ask. There's no way you can stay with us here, Kasuka san Trust me, I love to. The place is so important and comforting me, but I've already got a place where I belong, and some real awesome friends waiting for me. Things uh. I gotta do. Right, of course. It'll probably be dangerous, right? These things that you have to do? There are other battles that you have to fight, aren't there? Yep, that's uh. right. Then please, take uh. this with you. We wanted to help you fight in some way, so we developed this thin secret. It's a pretty powerful weapon, if you ask me. Feel free to use it whenever you're in a bind. Remember, whenever we're, we'll be oh. right by your side. Did he just say weapon? Essence of Don Doko Beam. Okay, gotta get going ah. for now. Oh. Let's do the thing, the grand finale, I sure. 
Thanks for the good times on Dog Island. The going gets rough every now and then, but it was really fun resort experience in the end. Just keep your heads up and you eh. know we'll prosper. Eh. Oh. Uh. Eh. Here's so long a bright future. Now everyone together. Go, 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 go. And now I got a three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, cool. Wait, there's still motherfuckers here? You didn't you motherfuckers didn't go away with with everything else? So, okay, cool. Well, that's the Don Doko Island. I don't ever have to do the Animal Crossing thing again. I guess it's just side quests, regular side quests from now on. I didn't realize it was that close. I thought it was going to be a lot more to get the five star. But it's like, no, just have your ranking as A. It's like, good thing I just put down all those buildings. How much would be... Oh, it's like a million yen. Is that really worth it? Why not? To Hawaii and to side quests, actual real side quests. All right. Uh, there seem to be yeah side quests out here in the middle of the ocean. I kind of forgot that he, that Ichiban can do this because there's not real really that many reasons to to do this in game like they added this but they didn't really um you know do much of anything with it hmm over here Someone's drowning. Crap, I'm so far away. I need to get there fast. Man, it was really weird when the parrot said, Shut up, Giza, you dementia riddled frog. Man, it felt like the developers knew Zavi would play the game Kappa. I'm not a frog. It didn't say that. The dementia only happened in, in Rimworld, and that was a fake me who was also a lizard. <laughs> Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yo, are we gonna do a CPR minigame? We didn't do that in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so we gotta do it here, I guess. Okay, never mind. No. Sakihodoa, ただしく処置できたことも ライフガードってな、ライフセーバーとは違うのかライフセーバーはボランティアなんです。対してライフセービングを職業にしている人はライフガードと呼ばれるんですよ。なるほど。まあ単純にアメリカではライフガードが多いのだと思っていただければいい
あらレイモンドくん今日もいい天気ね今度またうちの店に食べに来てねこちらこそこの間はごちそうさまでしたまたそのうちお伺いしますね暑いですから水分補給をお忘れなくはあ、随分と親しまれてんだなあす,すみません話の途中にいやかまわねえよ I feel like that woman was already thirsty I mean come on これが毎日だろうビーチを監視するのも大変なんじゃねえかそうなんですこれだけのお客さんに対してはライフガードの数が足りてないのが実情なんです鍛え抜かれたフィジカルに正義感命の大切さを知り勇気を持って人命救助ができるそんな人材を常に募集しているんですけどね人手不足はなかなか解消できず慢性的な課題なんですよビーチは広いですからできるだけ多くのスタッフで困っている人のサポートをしたいのですがそうなのか、oh, All these people and so few lifeguards to watch over, over them Someone has to step up to help keep this beast fun and safe. I know you. I'm not sure if you're a good person. 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 Hey, do you ever like sit here and then like a memory from your past just hits you like right then and there? Because now I'm just thinking about the one time when I was like probably seven or eight, and and my my grandparents took me to Destin, Florida, like down by the Gulf of Mexico, and then I like for like a week. And then I kind of swam out too far into the surf and like Yeah mm. Hey <laughs> And I'm just thinking about that because I'm just thinking about this entire like sub story I just think about how many times you could have died in your life. Hmm. Yeah, that's And I'm not a frog. God damn it. That should prove it. That should fucking prove that I am not a frog. Now, granted, even back then I was a human. But either way, fuck you. Hydrate people suffer from a heat stroke within three minutes. Search for anyone on the beach who seems weak or unwell. Hand them uh, some cool, refreshing water. Oof, dizzy. Okay, you. It's this thing again. It's like the lemonade st stand, but like... It's like the lemonade stand one, except that fucking... I don't have to worry about holding a thing. Get uh, just pour and cool off. Body feels heavy. I don't even care about the individual flavor text. Why is everything sh shaking? Gulp, gulp, gulp. All these people are suffering from the heat stroke, which actually I've learned like once again playing Rim, Rim World. Like certain people can um can suffer from like being too cold or too hot. 
but like yeah oh wait that no he's a drinky man My characters can suffer from heat stroke and every time I play worm world everything goes so well until the AI decides that everybody needs to be sick for once or one person gets sick and you're like I'm going to sit back and heal them And then suddenly they're dead from infection even though everybody been healing them and whatnot and i'm sitting there going fuck 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 and then it's just like all of a sudden i just don't have fucking food because Suddenly it decides to be like hey, there's a volcanic like Eclipse thing And now like the sky is covered so it means that like crops don't wait that's wrong guy That means that the 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 the, the crops don't fucking grow as fast and so you start losing out on food and so then like some people start getting mal malnutrition and and Fuck where's the last one Okay, wait, it's all these blue dots had too much to drink what should I what drink should I try next? Pour to cool off, make sure to drink water, drink too much. Lose weight, don't push yourself. Feel so relaxed. I drank too much juice. Pour to stay hydrated. Fuck. So I guess the person who was asking for what to drink next. Oh, she's staying hydrated. Fuck. I'm just, I'm so sleepy from the jet lag. Okay, wait, hold on. Fuck. What the fuck? Where was the last one? I'm not rambling because my dementia acts up again. I'm rambling because as a streamer, I should be talking. Here she... Oh, water. <laughs> But yeah, like, I keep, every time I play Rim World, I, I, it starts out so well, and then, like, I get fucked up in the ass by it. And then people start be losing it. And, like, one of the things that they can do is go on food binges, which means, like, every few seconds, they will eat, eat, like, food and then they'll just like wander around for like a few seconds and then eat more food and then just keep doing that over and over again and if you run out of food they just run away from the fucking um they, they try to run away from the the colony and then go find food somewhere else so we had a colonist do that and then like ran out of food went all the way across the map to where the insects were and started eating insect jelly well, I, I, I only mentioned my childhood once and that's when I almost drowned in the Gulf of Mexico It is a skill issue because I'm still learning that fucking game and how to like like actually manage my shit oh wow that one was quick i wonder like if 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 this ends up going a lot shorter like somehow we finish up these last four quests in the next two hours where, where there's no other side quests uh, you know outside of that one which is just dating then huh maybe this week will be a lot shorter than i thought 
A very... What? Oh no, a mysterious man. It's a sandbagger. Okay, cool. Now I can go over here. Is that girl all right? Maybe I should try to talk to her. Oh boy, love letters. Neck deep in shit. So that's it. You were waiting for the right moment to confess your love to your classmate? Hi. Hum, my school's here on the trip and my senpai told us this legend. Give your letter to someone buried in the sand and they'll fall for you. So I've been watching Tanabe-kun. Yeah, Tanabe. Tanabe. Tanabe kun, yeah, Tanabe kun. On the beach, he's got he's getting buried right now. What a really specific legend. Well, I'm sorry if it costs you your moment. I feel bad about that. No, it's okay. I can't do it. Not now in these dirty clothes for sure. Tanabe kun, you will probably be gone by the time I wash myself uh. off. Huh. <sighs> Damn it. Can't help but feel like it's my fault she's backing out of this. I wish there was some way I could help. If I had a spare high school girl's uniform, I'd give it to you, but... Well, there is one way. Do you think you could deliver my leverage to Tanabe-kun Tanabe for me? Huh? Huh? Me? Hi. Technically, the legend only says that your crush has to receive your letter while buried in Aloha Beach. Not necessarily you from you directly. You sure Tanabe won't just end up falling for me instead? As long as it's the letter I wrote, he should be fall. He, he should still fall for me. It's a bond between the letter writer and the one buried in the sand. Huh. Well, I got that. well, I owe you one for startling you. If I can really help, sure. Thank you so much. My name is Hitomi. By the way, Hitomi Hamam Hamabi Hamabe. Okay, Hamabe. Ah. Hitomi Chen. Uh, cool. I'm uh, Ichiban Kaska. Nice to meet you. Well, let's make sure I got this all right. The boy you like the name is. Tadabe. Tadabe kun, right? Hi. Yes, exactly right. Nice. Got it down. Thank you so much, Kasuka san. Oh. Hey, no problem. Tadabe kun should be playing with his friends on Aloha Beach. I'm going to wash my uniform. After you give him my letter, do you think you can bring him to the coconut juice cart for me? Well, I got that. Sure. By the way, what's Tadabe kun look like? Oh, of course. Here. It's a photo of him. Bullshit. Bullshit. I can see it from this far away. Why, rich kid? It's it's they're Japanese. It's a Japanese school trip, except that's an old man in that picture. That that motherfucker looks like he's in his his thirties, like I am. Short haircut, glasses. Okay, I'll keep this in mind. <laughs> He's on the baseball team, you know. He's really cute. <laughs> huh. Gotcha. Leave it to me. All right, I'll meet you by the coconut juice bar. The cart. Uh, thanks. 
Well then, let's find an Abekun, shall we? That does not look like a fucking teenager. Not at all. Now, where are you at, Tanabe kun? <laughs> what the hell? Man, this kid would be hard enough already. What the hell is this ah. crap? Okay, everybody face this way. Taking a picture. Huh? How? How are they able to face that way? Half of them are looking at something else. Nah. Hey there, got a minute? Yeah? Are you talking to me? I'm looking for Tanabe. Do you know if he's here? Hi. Tanabe, uh, yeah, but sorry, are you an acquaintance of his? Not exactly. I just need to give him a message from another one of your classmates. And, well, now I can't spot him in a sea of boy heads. Ah, uh, sorry. I know he's somewhere in the group, but I'm not exactly sure where. Really? You got no idea? Uh, hey, Takashi! Takashi, mind coming over here? On my way! Huh. Uh, well, nothing left to do but just ask around. Tanabe has short hair and wears glasses. All right, so let's look at here. Okay, no glasses, no hair, hair. He has short hair, but isn't wearing glasses. Hair, that is a... Uh, you technically could be him. Oh, but there's only four of these I can talk to. You're bald as shit. You have hair. You have hair and glasses. So by the process of elimination, you must be Tanabe. Nah. I'm looking for Tanabe. Can you point Aww. me to him? Hmm? Not sure where he is, but I know he's not next to a watermelon. He hates the water. He hates watermelon. So it is, says it's too sticky. That's okay. More watermelon for me. Okay. So. So then you're Tanabe. This guy. This guy is Tanabe. Fine, fuck you. I guess I have to talk to all these motherfuckers. Watermelon Beach, huh? Nah. Excuse me a second. I'm trying to, to get some to Tanabe. Do you know where mm -hmm. he is? Uh, I'm not so sure, but he's friends with Sato-kun though. Pretty sure they were buried facing each other. Arigato. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks So it's this guy Can I just say it's him and just give it I don't need all these these fucking things when mm. Nah. Huh? <sighs> he's I know he's and I know he's not in the left hand row facing the ocean. Arigato. Okay. Nah. Huh? Nabe? Yeah. yeah, he's he was in between yellow and red parasols. Can I kick this kid in the head? Can I kick this kid in the head? Oh, he's between the yellow and red parasols. All you motherfuckers are in the, between the yellow and red parasols, you fucking dipshit ass kid. I want to kick you in the head. Arigato. Right. Not in the left row if I'm looking towards the ocean. He's between the red and yellow parasols. Facing his friend Sato is not next to a watermelon. That's all I got. You. Could this kid be Tanabe? He's only in from a guy. Tanabe must be this guy. Time to hand over the love letter. Oh. Hey, excuse me. I got something for you from one oh. of your classmates. Oh, what is it? A letter? I can't exactly read like this. Ah. All right. Let me live here. Let me help. This is a confession of love. Oh. Sweet, isn't it? Girl wrote it. was waiting for you by the coconut juice card. Can I walk you there? For sure. Oh, Look who I brought. Wow, I picked it out right.
<笑>先進だな。じゃあ、先に<笑> Wait, I need your letter as well. Give it to me. Give me your letter. Do it. 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 Oh shit. It's all ruined. It's all gone to shit. Damn, that popped up. Yo, y'all can hear that. Holy shit. Hold on. Damn. You okay? Yeah, he's coming over to me. S Sigma's out, out of my room. That that's not Sigma though. <laughs> that's having a coffee. Yeah, as long as he. Another cat that wants my attention. Oh, granted. Really shouldn't be giving him attention because as soon as I start giving him attention, he's just gonna be like, No, I need your attention all the time. <笑>せっかくの縁なんだ。仲良くやるよ、お二人さん。はい。しかし、アロハビーチのお待ちないか。おめえらがうまくいったことで、またここで手紙を渡すやつが増えそうだな。そうですね。<笑> ちょっと照れくさいですが、でも絶対にご利益パワーありますよ。春日さんも気になる人がいたらどうですか？ここで手紙を渡しては効果てきめんですよ。そうだな。考えてみるよ。<笑> Oh, yeah, some of these are going by fast. Wow, if we... I only have, like, what, three more? Oh, no, there's another one here. Okay, good. So there's at least four. Some, some side quest beat. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Actually, uh, where is it? That's, that's what it was. First thing. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. These are Sujimons. Don't have to do them. And these are the love ones and the finals. So, so there's only six more of these. I bet you every single one of these are at the beach. Because we got one, two, three, four, which. Hmm. Where would these be? Oh well. Hopefully these are short enough. Huh, Zane. Yeah, that was Zane. As he coughed. Eh, he's fine now. 
He's the one that like every now and then does cough up the hairball. What was my wrist just pop or grab my phone? Damn. Here's the problem. I kind of kind of sprained my ankle when the other day. I mentioned this, where it's like I I was climbing up down the step ladder and like my fucking head, foot slipped and I fell off. But that was fine. Except that when I do walking nowadays, it's fuck. Hold on, can can y'all hear this? No, you cannot. ヒーロー気取りの勘違いやろうか。俺らはこのこと仲良くお話ししてただけなの。関係ねえ奴突っ込んでる。仲良く話してるようには見えなかったけどな。勘違いしてんのはお前らの方じゃねえのか。さっさ
Oh, is this one of those like choices one? Thank you again for agreeing to this, Kasuga-san. So, to fill you in on the details, our show is called Samurai. May we walk together? Zane, do you want out? He wants out. Hold on. Boink, boink. We interview Japanese tourists on vacation and accompany them as they experience Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Huh. Japan has shows like that too, you know. Following around travelers. They're pretty popular. Exactly. Unfortunately, even though our show has a was a hit at first, we've been losing viewers. Frankly, the content has gotten a bit stale. Mm -hmm. Guess that makes sense as a concept that only goes so far. However, that was the before today when I beheld the noble heart of a gallant samurai. If we can document a modern day man of honor like you as he experiences Hawaii, we have our greatest episode yet. What do you have in mind? Hi. Oh, we'll prepare a variety of fun times for you. All we want, Kasuka san, is for you to enjoy yourself and show us your Japanese spirit. My Japanese spirit, huh? If you can do that, we can arrange a handsome payday for you. Not a bad deal, I guess. <laughs> Welcome aboard, then. If you're ready, we can start the first segment right now. What do you say? It might take a bit of time to film, though. Easy. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Great, our first shoot will take place in, at a fruit truck. Let's feast. Nowhere you can fight on an empty stomach. Literally, his shirt says Tokyo. On um, down this way. Actually, what what does this shirt say? I. I must say, I must say Tokyo. Go. Hmm. Not even sure what's down his arms. I'm very bad at kanji. Outside of like die and see. And like. Fun. <laughs> it says two nukes were enough. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, we've got a lot of delicious Hawaiian food for you today, Kasuga. At the miss, pretty hungry. Want me to eat? Aye. The catch is you only get to try one dish. We like to see you make your choice. Show us the struggles of the samurai. Okay, sounds simple enough. Here's what we prepared for you today. A perfectly grilled mahi mahi. Oh, oh, oh. smells incredible. Uh, spring delicacy of Hawaii, Kalua pig. Mm. Ooh. And finally, oh man, cold rice in Japanese bar milk, Millet. Now then, Kazuka-san, we ask you to select one dish and tell us in your world how it tastes. And action. I don't get it. We're taking melee and cold rice over these other foods. Why did you get up and then... Why did you get up? Which is should I choose? No, I I'm gonna get the Kalua pig! Fuck you! Well, they said they wanted to see me juice, and these Hawaiian ones are making me starving. Mmm, yeah, that kicks ass. <laughs> Nothing makes traditional cuisine made with local ingredients. I feel like I could take on the world. <laughs> I bet that's the kind of act they would hope and see for me. <sighs> ah, shit. Uh... This was garbage. Huh. What did I do wrong? Well, they went through the trouble of making this. I should finish my plate. No, nah, fuck you. I'm... Uh, thank you for the food, everyone. Huh, let's wrap the- uh, let's wrap up. Kasuka-san, I don't understand. A Japanese man has to choose the cold rice. Why? Why? I know, but... <clears throat> what? Uh... We went through the trouble of preparing authentic Japanese soul food for you. 
I'm really disappointed. Okay, like, I'm gonna take a step back. A lot of soul food is just, like, garbage anyways. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Like, collard greens and black-eyed peas fucking suck. Hog jowl fucking sucks. Just give me regular bacon, for fuck's sakes. I don't need salty, hard-to-eat fucking food and fucking collard greens. Are you sure the shirt doesn't say tunics or enough? No. I am saying it doesn't. There is no part to that. Oi tesh, oi demasse, and Tokyo. None of that has two or nukes or any of that. Were were you just this dissing cauliflower? Yes. Yes, I am dissing. I'm dissing. I am dissing the traditional New Year's Day meal. Fuck that shit. It is garbage. It is garbage. It is literally garbage. Collard greens, black eyed peas, hog jowl. Fuck you. The moment I move, broccoli's better. Yeah. Honestly, broccoli and cauliflower are kind of- Cauliflower is actually kind of okay when you kind of prepare it or eat it cold. That's just fine. But like, I just- I just don't care enough for- 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 for like, New Year's Day food that is like, oh, traditional this. Not- no, no, fuck you. That- that shit- that shit is like- like garbage. But hey, we're just getting started, right? I'm looking forward to our next shoot already. I don't... Uh, I guess they really didn't really understand what they want. Feels like they're trying... They got a pretty narrow view of Japanese culture, but I'll keep that in mind next time. Now that we're eating, let's move to the next location, Kasuga-san. All right, what's next? A Silas High Hawaiian Bar. What awaits us there, I wonder. <laughs> guess I'll find <laughs> out. It's not far from here, actually. Why don't we take a stroll? So what's catching into Japan originally, Nathan? Have you taken a lot of trips there? Yeah. Me? Oh no, I've never been. Huh? I'm surprised. Never left America, in fact. Hawaii's the furthest I've ever traveled. Actually, uh, growing up, I was kind of a kid who hated leaving his room. Oh. Why was that? I guess it started by getting bullied in school. I spent so much time inside that slowly outside just looked further and further away. I dropped out of school and hid in my room, watched TV all day. My parents didn't know what to do. Then, late one night, I happened to catch the samurai movie on the air. Okay, but like, here's the fun part. We have truancy officers. Unless you dropped out of school when you hit 18. Truancy. Unless you, unless you can make sure that you're enrolled into something like, I don't know, say, uh, homeschool, truancy. Then one late one night, I happened to catch the samurai movie on the air on G4. Never saw anything like that. These people who lived in a world of honor and loyalty it was amazing. They fought for their convictions. They put their lives on the line for others. It was so beautiful, it made me cry. I wanted to live like that too. From then on, I couldn't. I knew I couldn't stay hidden away anymore. Suddenly, it felt like I had the courage to open the front door again. School became my domain where I could uphold justice and protect the weak. I even stood up to those bullies. They beat my ass silly, of course, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Oh yeah, no, um, Jadoska, I'm actually kind of the same way. I, there are a set of vegetables that I do not like cooked. Like, I could not care about carrots cooked. I like them raw. Same thing with like celery. There's just a, a weirdness to the texture of like a cooked vegetable sometimes. Like peas, okay. Beans, oh, well, those are legumes, but like. I don't know. It's like if you cook a tomato, sometimes that just doesn't hit right. 
Uh, things got better. Eventually, I met other people with the same kind of interest in Japan and we became friends. Japanese cinema gave me another chance at life. That's why I'm so grateful for it. I like to become someone who makes those kinds of movies, one that inspires people who are struggling. I even went to film school to be a director like the great Kurosawa. Hey. Wow, I'm really impressed. Seems to me like you got everything you need. Is the whole crew in Japan too? Yep, they were a bunch of us to talk to at the station. We so we banded together to make this series. Gotcha, that explains why everyone's so fired up. That's why everyone's so in awe of you, Kasuka-san. We can't wait to show our viewers a real live samurai. <sighs> Look, that's flattering, but honestly, I'm no... Oh. Hmm? Sun shower. Is it a squall? Maybe we shouldn't fill, find shelter for a minute. No worries, Kazuka Sun. Oh. Hmm? I... Here! Pick which suits your fancy. Uh, okay. <gasps> so an umbrella or a... Uh, Fuka <laughs> Magasa. Hmm. Go on. I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna burst this motherfucker's. I'm gonna burst his bubble. Let's see. Umbrella, please. Sorry, but I feel like staying dry. I'm gonna burst his bubble because fuck you. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a mess. Uh... Come on, it was so easy. Don't take it too hard, guys. Uh... Kasuga san, was that really the best choice? There is. I know Kasuga will probably like There's a part of this that's like that, but I'm also like Come on Come on Come on nah. So what's the plan choosing between sake or Mai Tai? Clever thought, but no, we actually like to play darts against a lo lovely oh. young woman. No kidding. I... Mm hmm. It's a special segment that's even going to be a penalty if you lose. Mm, sounds like lots like some Japanese late night shows. Come on out, Marilyn. Now, Kazuga's son, Marilyn Chan, I like you both like darts to play with. All right. I can see where this is going. No choice in the matter. Fuck you. Marilyn Chen has made her choice. Kazuka-san is up to you now. Yeah, but... Shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. Come on, they're all shuriken. Uh, well, then I guess I'll take this one. Stick! Go, ninja! Go, ninja! Go! Ninjutsu for the win. Believe it. <laughs> Surface level otaku, sure. You know what? I believe it. I believe it, too. <laughs> Good luck, ninja Kasuga. Geez, first I'm a samurai, now I'm ninja, huh? Yeah, like, there's an actual massive difference between the two, but Makase fuck doke. you. Alright, let's do it. I could have told you I suck! Like I've ever thrown a shuriken before. <laughs> Come back another time, ninja boy. Sadly, Kazuka-san, you have to take the responsibility for this loss. You mean the penalty? Indeed, the price to regain your honor is high, but without, it's not without pity. Please choose your preferred method. <laughs> Here, here's a sword and a knife. Why don't you do? You got to do. Yeah.
Okay. So, seppuku or yobitsumi or yobitsume. Uh, a, 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 uh, yeah. Do, do you kill yourself or do you take a, your pinky? Do you do, do the. Hold on, this is crazy. I'm not going to mutilate myself for some TV show. Also, that's considered, um, snuff. <laughs> Just face. Yeah. But Kazuga-san, you lost face. Surely this is in the way of the warrior, the Yakuza, the samurai? Steal yourself for absolution. Let me make this clear. I'm not any of those things. The Japanese people don't cut their fingers off for losing a dart. Only if you dishonored the family in the Yakuza. Uh, oh, really? We kind of thought, you know, it was part of that lifestyle. Uh, if I lost a finger every time I lost a game, I've had been born with tin hands. That's a fair point, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, we'll save this punishment for something more severe. Sure. And in this case, use an all-time classic penalty from Japanese variety shows. What? <laughs> Question, where did it come from? Who dropped it? <laughs> Japanese comedy kicks ass! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Should have just gone with the seppuku. We've got a ton of great footage now. I say we take this to the beach for one final activity. What's the plan there? What would you say to snorkeling between the ocean waves, Kaskasan? Uh, You're asking me to breathe through a bamboo shoot, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Ooh. Well, well, look who it is. Been a while, hasn't it, Nathan? Oh! Oh, hello, James. What brings you out here? <laughs> Location shoot from the new studio flick. You know how it is. Had some time to spare, so I thought I'd take in the beach. You two friends? Yeah, this is James. We were in film school together. Everybody back then said he was genius. Now he's a big time director in Hollywood. <laughs> Still chasing after those Japanese tourists like some, what you call yourself, an otaki. <laughs> yeah, good to see some folks never change, Nathan. Fly by night TV directors will stay fly by night TV directors. Uh, shut up, James. It's a taku. <laughs> right, of course. That was the excuse for never socializing, huh? Had to watch samurai movies. We threw the most amazing parties back then. While well, this one just stayed inside and studied his blade. <laughs> it's scary how Japanese culture can turn men into such losers. James, oh, say what you want about me, but I won't let you speak to, about N Nippon that way. Eh? <laughs> Open your eyes and look at the world, Nathan. People pay for epic sci-fi battles against beautiful bike drops with cutting edge CG. They want superheroes, baby, not samurai. Okay, I know. I know this was written. It, it, it like isn't right now one of the most popular prestige TV shows right the second Shogun like I, I I I have purposefully somehow stumbled into this being out of date by like three months no I don't think it's that this doesn't feel that far from it being a localization. Like if your entire thing is, and I'm being honest here for a second, these men are otaku and want to be Japanese. Like, I, I can see that this not being a translation issue, uh, a localization thing. I'm sitting back and saying this from the standpoint of it's really funny I'm doing this quest line now when like Shogun is like a big hit TV show or one of those things that people are watching nowadays. 
No studio is going to finance a movie about some ancient katana twirling losers. That should never really happen that way. Until you figure that out, you'll be stuck making basic cable shows about old stereotypes. Universal no mo movie Rebel Moon 2 just released. This game tried to know that song. Until you figure that out, you'll be stuck making basic cable shows about old stereotypes. The mark of every third-rate director is that they couldn't keep up with the times. You're gonna wind up old and dusty like those black and whites you love by... What's his name? Kurosama? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you may not you know better than what's, pop, uh, what's popular, but that doesn't mean you know more about film. You don't even care. <laughs> and it's course, sorry, you baka. See, that is... See, I'm not even sure at this point. That one might be. But at the same point in time, in Japan, he's just going to say Yubaka. So it would fit more here. Oh, you, you fucked up. <laughs> oh, this samurai and Yakuza shit. He's just some skinny geek. Hit the gym, sword lord. Damn it! You apologize to Japanese cinema. Eh? I honestly can't believe this guy. You know, we're filming the climax of a new flick soon. It's got like this great shot where the burly hero Kazo, the Point Dexter villain. Let me show you how it goes. <laughs> I feel like that doesn't happen as often nowadays. Like that, like that is the most fake thing in, in the world where it's burly hero and point Dexter villain. Damn, damn it all. <laughs> What's that? Want another take? Also, he's dressed like Peter. Gr oh no. Well, no, he, he's not fully dressed like Peter Griffin. His shirt isn't purely white. There's like some weird texture problem with that. Huh? What's your problem? No comprendo Japanese, buddy. Just move aside. I've been trying to tell this guy all day that I'm nobody special. Half ass hero at best. But that doesn't mean I won't stand up to bullies like you. Huh? Even if some big shot, what gives you the right to mark someone like that means so much to someone else? What the hell is this guy talking about? What's wrong with having something that inspires you? If there's anything out there in the world that gives you strength, then that's amazing. Nathan found something like that for himself. He has my respect. Kasuga-san, if you can't understand that, then some trendy hack like you can never make great movies. Huh. Is that right? Oh, now you can understand him? Hope you're watching, Nathan. I'm gonna make Mr. Japan Man here grovel on the ground. I'll kill you and it won't even cancel me for it. Now that is a localization line. Even though a lot about this game is has been about like using the internet to cancel someone. What? What's with this guy? That's all you got? Oh wait, it's 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 things. Nei-san,の方がよっぽど根性あるぜ。くそ、覚えてろよ。おい、大丈夫か？なあ、ありがとうございます。カスガさんは僕がずっと好きだったジャパニーズムービーのヒーローみたいだ。<笑> こんなに強くてでもそれを引けらかさないピンチの時に助けてくれる人情の人本当にかっこいいまさにサムライそれに比べて僕は本当に何もないあんな奴に才能でも喧嘩でも負けて僕はサムライになんて一生なれない<笑
立派な侍だよ春日さんそれに今日一日なんだかんだで楽しかったぜハワイに来てこんなに日本の文化を好きでいてくれるやつに会えるなんて思ってなかったしねまあちょっと日本への偏見が強い気はしたけどよ<笑>そうですねジェームズは嫌なやつですけどあいつの言っていることも確かに一理ありました僕は本当に日本の映画や文化が好きですでもそれを自分で紹介したり表現するときは上手なばかりなぞっていた気がします忍者や侍はもちろん見た目も好きですが本当にかっこいいのはその内面にあるんですよね信念スピリットのところがその本質なのに僕の番組にはそれが欠けていましたキャッチーで分かりやすく撮らないと日本や侍の良さが伝わらない気がしてだけどそんなことはないってさっきの春日さんを見て通過しました僕を助けてくれようと春日さんの背中は最高にかっこよかった,<笑>かかっかったあれこそが僕の愛した侍の背中入れ墨が見えなくてもその力強さや気高さははっきりと伝わってきました<笑>そうか僕春日さんと会った時には黒沢みたいな映画を撮りたいなんて言ってましたが実は心の中でちょっと諦めたんです、like、totally、like、このまま細々と番組を作っていく人生は like, like, Let's be honest, let's take that one line from, from It's Been and just, just do it 側だけではない日本の魂がこもった熱い映画を仲間と一緒に作りたい今心からそう思うんですあんたならできるさその気持ちを忘れずにいたらきっといい映画監督になれる Or if you really wanted to just, just do a bleach life action movie that's kind of like being a samurai <laughs> Oh <laughs> I don't get it. Right, yellow sweets. Oh, I need to like do more of these, um, other ones. Okay, let's go for the two down here. Before we head back up the beach. よし、こんなもんでいいだろう。うん。なかなか立派じゃないか。これなら社長も喜ぶだろう。なんだこのショベルか。工事でも済むのか。いえいえ、これは展示品ですよ。ハワイ開拓の時に使った珍しい型のショ
残念ですが動かないですね燃料とかはどうもそのままっぽいのでバッテリーが見つかったら動く可能性もありますが<笑>古い型のものですしまあ現実的には無理でしょうね、oh, wait, no、一応 I, I think I understand shut up Did I accidentally disable something with? Oh, no wonder. I probably accidentally disabled something during the damage system. Right? Yeah, why the hell is it not turning off on that? そんなことはないから大丈夫とですねまあ制御装置も劣化で機能してないので仮にエンジンがかかったら大変ですけど動かせる電気なんてあるわけないしオールオッケーですよ社長もそんなのどうでもいいからさっそく電気しろって言ってましたしおいそろそろ行くぞ早いとこ社長視察の段取りを組まないとあはい This, uh, it's, it's, it's for something that was later on and I, I had on while testing, so. Hmm. Hold on. There, there we go. That's why I kept doing it. In fact, while, while I'm here. I should I should go ahead and make sure that this uh this this one little thing goes away. Whoops. Uh no, that's not why. Actually, fuck. No, I shouldn't do that. Not yet, at least. I should just get rid of anything that, like, has a timer to it. Come on, move. Why? Oh, shit! Fucking... Yes. Oh, actually, let me do a couple of these while we're here. Is there any timers here? Okay, yeah, that that should be fine. Wait, that didn't do anything. Also, these guys are my level. Fuck. I should actually be using skills then. I don't know what curse does. Don Doko Beam? Why is it a satellite? What? Why was it a satellite? Um, done. Oh, 
Oh no. Um, it's weak against knives. No, wait. I oh, I cannot do that shit. Wait, is this gonna relate back to what we were just seeing? ミラクルアクアリウム。ミラクルアクアリウム。今度この近くで移動式の水族館を期間限定でオープンするんです。お兄さんもよければぜひ来てみてください。なあ。さっきの親子が話してたのはこれか。あ。て、あんた。サーカスのヤスダ団長じゃねえか。え。あ。コスダさんじゃないですか。おう。カスダさんじゃないですか。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ
Toggle, toggle, toggle. Hmm. Maybe this is one of those. No, wait. Let me just look over here because it could be just in here. Okay, so this one is another one of those. I need to leave and come back. So if I just do this... Yep, leave and come back. And remember not to, like, you know, fuck around. Mm -hmm. Yo. Yo, Yatsuda-san. Oh, Kasuga-san. Hello there. What's with the buckets? The cleaning tanks? Oh, <laughs> these fellas aren't cleaning supplies. No, no, no. They're my secret weapons. Oh. Huh? you what? Come now. Any equipment in the world can show off some boring old fish. I hold myself to a higher stamina excitement. Something fresh. Something with flair. You have to drop people in with an exhibition they can't possibly ignore. Questionist has already been the cornerstone of my work, Kasuga son. <laughs> A shocking, shimmering, electrifying parade. Electrifying, huh? Nothing embodies my philosophy better than those two. Behold, Lamb Chan and Loon Chan, my very own catfish. Electric catfish. Huh? Shocking. <laughs> Exactly. In fact, they're a very special breed. They discharge the largest electrical shots of any animal on Earth. It was hell getting the permits. But now that they're here, the show can finally go on. These babies' fireworks will give audiences an experience they'll never forget. Mm -hmm. Wow, that does sound pretty exciting. Doesn't it? I got special tanks for them. Nothing gets to charge a charging better than a dark, cramped spaces. So do I. Ah, uh, speaking of, I better get him settled. Excuse me now. Come to the opening. All right. Better not run. Whatever. <sighs> Electrifying show, oh. huh? Wait a second. Funny thing that if they just had some juice, they'd run again. Oh, well, no way that will happen. Wait, did I hear right? If they just got his election in the socket, they'd be useful? Could be. Levels are, levers are rusted, though. So there's no way to control them. There'll be no one nice to see if Oh, wait. If they're talking. I know it's a million to one chance, but I've got to warn Yasuda about those excavators. Where'd he go? I need to catch up to him. They won't land there. They'll be fine. Whee! One of the. It's not fine. Looks like I gotta find two excavators. Hey, work a little harder. Kasuga-san! Hey, 
Do I? Do I? I guess I do. That's Kasuga. Wouldn't be a video game if, if, if it was all sunshines, lollipops, and rainbows. How? Okay, that level 31. That ain't too bad. Oops. Okay, good. This is fine. You know what? Don't do quick beam. Easy when your train levels higher. Another two. Are the fish alive? Crap, I'm full bullet of everyone on the beach and too. What do I do? They all think it was part of a show. ミラクルアクアリウムがオープン予定ですので、ぜひお立ち寄りください。行く行く。いい土産話ができそうだ。早くオープンしないかな。あの迫力のが見られるんだら何回でも見に行くよ。ささ、こちらです社長。我が社の
did how not on fire the stages. Safety is important too. No. Hell yeah. Hey, work a little harder. The cutscene's still playing Avalon. Excuses. Hey, look, it's over. Now we can move on to the next side quest. Holy moly! Holy moly. That beach chair looks pretty comfy. I never actually sat in one of these. I'm kind of worn out. Look out, chair. Screw it. How often do I get to enjoy resort living? Look out, chair. Oh. Mm, even comfier than I thought. This is kind of sitting you expect in tropical sands. Whew. I need this. Now little to just rest my eyes. Hmm? Oh, I really passed out. Oh. Never mind, he's talking. Hmm? Bird. Saz? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's as it's Chocobo from Final Fantasy 13. なんだよ、降りたくねえのかたく、どうすかなこれは、随分綺麗な羽だなこいつの親鳥のかもしかしてお前、この巣に住んでたのか? Hey, listen! It doesn't have a burn as in my head, true. Here, I also have a good night, Ticonderoga. ケントを持つかねえしな。わからねえことばっかだぜ。どうすっかな。お。なんか腹減ったな。親鳥探しつつ飯でも食いに行くか。ピピ。お。お前も腹減ってんのか。じゃ、飯二人分調達しに行こう
ヨーセフお気に入ったかじゃあヨーゼフ飯買いにいるぞああマジで頭から降りる気ないなしょうがねえちと歩きにくいがこのままかっこいいかっこいいかっこいいかっこいいかっこいいかっこいいかっこいいかペットの餌とか売ってたような Get to the ABC store before Kasuga's next gives out from the strain. Joseph Ray can throw Kasuga off balance. It won't be easy to walk straight. But getting a people object causes you to stumble or gain your footing at any time. Oh god, why are there a bunch of sumas around here? Oh god. Oh god, I have to ignore the. F I have to、oh, get away from the fat men. Anyway, hmm. Or are you guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, We may as so well how. Hmm. Aloha. Oh. Hey, got the hungry little fella here carrying food he might like. Little fella? Hmm. <laughs> sure. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see now. Cute customer. Give me one sec. Thanks for waiting. Here, I blended up some nut pellets for you, buddy. Chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, now that's good eating. I appreciate it. Well, how about we find a place to sit down? Barb. <laughs> Billy Fool Joseph. You didn't even leave my hair to eat. I'll be washing out crumbs for a week, I bet. Ah, <sighs>、oh, crap. I completely forgot to get food for myself. But I still need to get back on the hunt for the mom's guy. What do, to do? <laughs> well, no point standing around. I guess I'll try to look for mom, but I want to find myself some food, too. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell? Er. Oh, those feathers. Joseph, is that your mom? Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess my work here is done. Mother and child reunited. Now, I wonder why she flew off in the first place. Gotta! Over here! This way! Huh? Huh? Whoa, 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 who are you guys? What's with the guns? Piss off, Fro Top! You're getting in the way of our business. What business is that? That parrot's a rare breed. We're going after it to, uh, protect it. Huh? <gasps> Now move! Yeah. Protected from what? Assholes and ugly vests? Let me guess. You two are the ones who knocked the, down the old nest, aren't you? Psh, not your concern, pal. We ain't lying. We're treated well. Only the highest quality taxidermy job. Golden parrot like that, you can't risk damage it without with sloppy shooting. Poachers. You two are filth. Quark. Huh? Hey, boss, he's got the baby. Catch that one and plump it up and be worth even more than the mother. <laughs> Oh, our lucky day. One in hand and one in the bush. <laughs> Look, I promise these those birds will end up with real nice collectors. Just give us a check and walk away. If I don't, they will blast you open and take the bird ourselves. Just try it. I'd rather keep this bird in my hair for the rest of my life than give him to you. I don't care how much he weighs, he eats or squawks or shits. <laughs> Oh, wait, this was one I was supposed to do earlier on. 
Whoops. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, damn it, retreat. Oh. Hey. What? I don't even want to find you poaching again. Try and you have to you'll have us to answer to. Uh, fine, you win. I renounce my ways. That was a close one. Tweet, tweet. Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, you two. I hope you to make a great nest together, safe and sound. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Mm. Hey, Joseph. Don't tell me you missed my hair already. Well, I know what it's not like to have home. I can ju can't just turn my back on you. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's figure this out. Sure. Hey, hmm? listen. I know this game's kind of expect you to wander around aimlessly. I hate Pretty much. I mean, I can understand that. Like, you know, explore around, look at places, stumble into side quests, things like that. Huh, it's almost like that's what an RPG is supposed to allow you to do, but mm, what do I know? Wow, that one was really short. <clears throat> I mean, true. All right, so Okay, there's one up here that is definite a side quest that is romance So I will tackle this one right here and then maybe the other one Wait, actually, let me look at Hold on, let me actually look at the task menu Okay, one, two, three. Hey, listen. These are Sujimon, so I don't care. And these are romances, so I don't care. Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can understand. Then again, these games have been, at, at very least, they give you the little markers to tell you where there is and isn't a side quest. Okay, so there are... Okay, so Beach Guardians 3 different ones. We can't get drunk on the beach. <laughs> oh no, he littered. We gotta keep our beaches clean. わすれもんだぜ。なんだてめえ。喧嘩売ってんのか。いいよ。俺はただ落とし物を持ち主に返しただけだ。人としてあたり前。だろ。分かったらそれ持ってさっさと帰んな。あと。ここで楽しんでる人に迷惑かけるような真似すんじゃねえぞ。チッ。たく。Throw it again. Throw it again. Please throw it again. See what happens. え、気にすんなって。結構いるのかああいう連中は。まあ、そうですね。これだけ毎日人が来るので、一定数はどうしても。彼らは最近よく来ては迷惑をかけるようなことばかりして正直困っているんです。お金のある旅行客のようなんですが、いつか他のマナーを守って楽しんでいる人にまで危害を加えたりしないかと心配で。そうなのか。って勝手に心配だ
今日は朝から一段とお客さんが多いですし Berman's got a serious look inside. Should I pitch in lifeguard duty? Lifeguard no shigoto. Kyo mo tetsuda ze. Arigato gozaimasu. Totemo taskarimasu. Mata patrol shinagara mizu kubattari toga. So desne. Kyo wa. Ano. Hm? Ano, sumimasu. Uchi no musume o mimasen deshita ka. Oh god, we gotta find a lost kid. Maigo deska. Hai. Yeah, only a moment or two. Sure, moment. 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 It could be out there in the surf. You know, dying. 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 You take this way, I'll go home. Okay, looking for a little girl in a red swimsuit and a straw hat. Oh wait, blue swimsuit and a straw hat, but also six years old. So it can't be that person. Wait. Oh wait, no blue ribbon. There it is. Little girl, red dress, blue. Nah. Your mother's looking for you. Oh? Eh, hey, my mommy. Uh, I was chasing the hermit crab. I forgot all about mommy. Mommy, where are you? <laughs> Amazing how kids get focused on one thing and forget the world about them. Oh. Just waiting for you back at your spot. I can take you there. Okay. My little Emmy, I was so uh, scared after you disappeared like that. I'm so sorry, Mom. I don't know how to thank you, lifeguard. You're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> it's no big deal. You're glad everyone's okay. Stay with your mom for now on, oh yeah? Uh-huh, thank you, big nose. Ooh. Oh, sure. Camp, you saved the day again. I'm humbled. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing special. I'm just happy it all worked oh. out. How often do kids get lost around here? It's terribly common. Parents get distracted, the children see something that sparks their interest. Hell, please, excuse me, my son's Billy's gone missing. I looked away for a moment, he's gone. Raymond wasn't kidding. A poor lost child? Yes, oh dear, wait, can it be? Not to worry, ma'am. We'll find your boy, just give us a description, please. Billy's wearing a white swimsuit with an orange baseball cap. He looks just about 10. Maybe he's playing nearby somewhere. White swimsuit, orange baseball cap. Sounds familiar. Ma'am, please return to your original location. I always wander back. Of course. Thank you, boy. Okay. White swimsuit, orange baseball cap. I thought this was going to be quick, but now it's not. White swimsuit. No. No. You. I guess that's orange. Nah. Are you Billy? Your mother can't find you and she's worried. Let me take you to her. Huh? My mom? Oh, nuts. I just wanted to play in the sand on my own. Why she gotta cry about it? Uh, nuts and beans. <laughs> Sorry, but I need to take you back to her. Come on. Okay. What sort of kid's gonna say nuts and beans? Beans. That's like a British kid's thing. My adorable little silly Billy. Mom's so glad you're all right. Geez, I only wanted to play in the sand. Whatever, Mom. Thank you so much, Life Got owe you the world itself. Just a uh, relief. He's okay. <laughs> Treat your mom well, kid. She loves you. Fine. I'll stick for now. Thanks, Fuzzball. Ooh. 
Um, yeah. It's all man recarnate his being. That's beans! Yeah. I, I I still have never heard a person legitimately say in my life, that's beans. Well, well, do not child protected from the wait waiting clutches of the fickle Poseidon. Ah. Glad we're able to find them. Kids really do run off, huh? Hi. Oh yeah, kids are like mobs and every grain of sand of this glorious shore is a flame. Curiosity is a healthy thing in youngsters, but we all know it's too much if they did uh, too what Ah, curiosity is a healthy thing, young sisters. We all know what too much of it did to the cat. That's why we're here to avert the disaster. To tell the truth, this sort of thing particularly hits home. Hey. I bet you save an unbelievable number of kids if this happens so often. <laughs> well, yes, I have. Uh, I'm actually thinking about the time that I uh, needed saving. Huh? Really? When I was just a tyke, I came to the beach with my family. I was delirious for fun and eventually find myself in a deserted cove. Suddenly, I sprained my leg and couldn't make my way back. Whoa. But then a lifeguard came and looked and rescued me. It was the most incredible feeling I've ever had. A sensation of safety and relief. That's why I'm here to deliver to anyone who needs it, best as I can. Plains a lot. Hmm? Don't look at you. Oh, look. oh yeah, because you're British. So you say beans. You, you say that's beans, don't you? That's beans. Yeah, that's beans. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What a crazy thing to go Hi. through. Mm. It was like nothing a real life superhero. From that day on, I pledged myself to that lifeguard and vowed to take up his vigil against the Coven Coast. Hello, new and tasty. I hate beans. They're fucking goddamn. <laughs> beans are good. They make you toot. That was when I knew I'd be a lifeguard. Oh. How about that? Uh, it's your origin story. <laughs> Maybe those kids for today feel that way too. <laughs> I'd be happy to if that was so, but I know from experience that most will forget it ever happened, and most ever remember the beach is nothing but a playground. Right, gotcha. <laughs> well, we still did good today, all the same. I gotta learn a little more about you. <laughs> That's so much of a prize. You deserve it from helping little Emmy and Billy. Here, take this from me. Arigato. Thank you. Uh, I gotta prepare for my next watch. I'll so you going. Yeah, you're welcome to help whenever you got time, friend. Ooh, what an experience I've turned into. Preventing heat stroke, finding lost kids, what's next? These lifeguards are way more than just beats cops. I admire how much it takes care of here, but I better come by when I can. Yeah, they're like, more like beach AMTs. Okay, so we got two more. One is probably another one of these lifeguard missions. But I should just go ahead and take care of the one up here first. And then the only side quest left would be Sujimon and the romances, and I don't want to do either of those. So this this is legitimately the last stream of this game then. Which means I'll just push a little bit further tonight. Oh hey, hmm. Isn't that the rival otaku director I met. His name's James, right? He was insulting Japanese cinema and bullying Nathan, so we ended up in a brawl. Oh. No Gamba? Why would- No, no Gamba. What's he doing? He looks down. Thought he was like a big time filmmaker. Come now, fine if we shoot it that way, but... Oh. Yo, Peter Griffin. You're Nathan's old classmate, right? James? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, yo. Yeah. Still kicking around, huh? Actually, you caught me thinking of my new flick. Oh, I guess he just he are he, I guess he just knows Japanese After a minute seeing piss pants Nathan man up to defend those little Japanese movies finally got me curious Oh, oh yeah, you want to watch one? Those guys are making cinema with barely any budget or effects somehow. It was powerful The action scenes used real explosive and performances so were so raw and authentic. I couldn't take my eyes away. I can't believe I never gave them a chance before. Feels like one, for once, I understand that dorky crowd, coward. <laughs> mm, good. But anyway, he's not what's important. What matters now is the movie I'm shooting. Oh. Right, yeah. Sounds like we're working on something big. It's some summer blockbuster with cutting as CGI, or, well, it was supposed to be. Now it feels like it's missing something. I mean, sure, the dailies look great and all, but everything's so clean. There's no tension, and the script's clearly not helping. Once I noticed all that, I couldn't ignore it. I don't know what to do. I feel like I should just quit the whole business. If it keeps going, you know, it gets, I'm stuck with a cast and crew hey, that specializes in CGI. Harder. Nobody knows anything about practical effects or traditional stunt work. Mm. 
but this fake explosion the can performance it's it feels all just feels so cheap i'm dying for real cinema man what should i do oh you know you didn't strike me as someone with most integrity at first but you really do love film Oops. if my name's on something i wanted to be the best it can mm. that's a good thing but hey do you think that nathan's a coward nathan i don't know i guess you feel bad for how i treat him now I have my own view of what movies could be like and when he didn't conform to that i harassed him for it it was a shitty thing oh. to do it was doesn't sound like you need to tell me you need me to tell you that it was wrong when you can you should apologize to him i'm planning on it <gasps> the practical practical effects and traditional stunt work huh hmm a little while ago i'm hey, working work with a, a director little harder. who was almost obsessed with realism I got blown up and burnt, but the crew seemed to appreciate my performance. James need people with right know how. Hey, Shut work a little up, harder. I'm reading, you fucker. Uh, right know how, these guys can be perfect. Nah. If you need help with real explosions and stunts, <laughs> I know some folks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, how do you know anyone? Are you in the industry? Not really, but I happen to be acquainted with a legendary, certain legendary filmmaker. Oh. Uh, let me give him a call. <gasps> All right, let's get that legend on the line. Kazuma Kiryu, Boni Kadoshiba, Kodachi Adachi, Go Goichi Adachi. Oh no, it's Boni. Director, Boni Kashiwa. He doesn't compromise on realism of his actions. Shut up, I haven't snapped. I'm watching that guy walk into a wall and then into a pole. Where the fuck is he going? Hello? Kasuka san, what do I owe the pleasure? Ew. So, uh, I'm with this other filmmaker, director here, and looking for someone who knows true stunt work. Who better than Boni, Ka uh, Boni Kashiwa to help? I figured. Uh, would you mind giving him some advice? Did you say Boni Kashiwa? Well, I normally you seem too busy to help some rookie, but I'm your dad. Where can we meet? Arigato, yo. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're at the park just off of Sunset Street. All right, let me get dressed. I'll be there. Ahoy! Sorry to keep you waiting. Nanda. Holy shit! You're the really him! Buddy Kashiwa, the stunt uh. killer. What's that? Wait a minute. I know your face, James Taylor! Huh? You know him? By reputation? Oh. We never met before, but this boy's a man of all uh, hour in film circles. He's a bigger celebrity than his stars. Director Kashiwa is a visionary behind the legendary Vikikler stunts and swayed the car one and two. He's a genius. Uh. I can't believe him hey, sending face to face with them. you. Hmm? Did you ever play a Dragon Ball game so you quack every time we see Quill? You know, if, if if when Sparking Burst comes out, I might play that. But that also means I probably should play Budokai 1. Why would you have need of me, huh? When I hear James Taylor, I think flashy top of the line CGI, not my style. Why would you ever go practical? I'll uh, fill you in. I see, I see. What a funny little story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't mind me. I'm simply happy to have skills I can pass down to the new generation. So, very well. If you're really serious, I'll show you how to craft a true action scene. Yes, please, sir. Let's discuss the plot. What's happening? Picture this. Hundreds of fucking semi-trucks combined to form a giant no-shift robot to protect the city. The key shot is the hero running through all these colliding semis to make it to the command room normally i just record the actor running in place and do the rest digitally but now i see the value of realism mm -hmm. my boy you're making cinema and not only have you enlisted a perfect advisor myself you have the industry's premier stuntman before oh. you huh i trust no one else has gracefully eluded life-threatening traffic hazards than kasaka san whoa seriously you never told me you were a stuntman wait no 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 you don't want me to do more stunt work do you Please, I can pay you generously. You want to do it for cinema? <gasps> James is sure passionate about this. Well, got that. But if it's so important to you in the art of film, then I'll play my part. Excellent. Let's hop to it. We'll shoot on Riverside Walk. Blink three, meet there later, or should I call my chauffeur to drive us over there immediately? What would be best for you? I'll go oh. with you. What the hell? Let's get over with. I'll assemble the crew.
I mean, you say it's an honor to work with you in Kaskasan. <sighs> Honor's all mine, I guess. Although the explosion last time were brutal. Well, you're running through a pathway of bombs loaded with kerosene and gunpowder. It eh, better be brutal. I'm sure you'll shed any latent fear once you see the passion our directors have worked. That's fascinating. So to keep the tempo dynamic, you delay the timing of the dolly intentionally to start on the wide Exactly constant speed and medium shots aboard the viewer. You have to stimulate the subconscious A really talking shop. Guess he's not some old sadist after all Of course not. Just think about it. The br two brilliant creators from rival ends of this creative spectrum Collaborating at last. It'll make history oh. Is it really that big a deal? Suppose this is your average film set There you are, Kazakhstan. James and I have gone over most of the details, so we're ready for Ooh. you. All right, what am I going to do? Dodging cars and fancy suit so. again? More or less, but this time you'll be dodging semis. Oh. What's that mean? So. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Oh, right. The ones is a bunch of trucks crossing into each other. Mm, we have a higher budget to play with, so we can use far more explosive than last time. Trucks with flying to and fro non-stop. Brake lines cut. Oh boy, your character's in some pain if he gets hit. So dodge them all unless you want to ruin the movie. And have fun <sighs> out there. You know, somehow it's only starting to sink in right now what I signed up for. Remember, speed is crucial. If the camera sees you hesitate, the entire take is ruined. I that. Yeah, I get it. Dodge trucks, finish, finish, like do it fast. New York protege. Good luck, Kasuka san. That's my guy, ready to roll. Lights, camera, action! No. Oh. Let's do it. You are the man, let's go! We gotta do the same thing that we did last time. 40 seconds. It's the exact same place as last time. It's just that, oh god, we have semis. Oh god. For a second they look like they're going to change lanes and that's what's weirding me out because i'm like are you motherfuckers changing lanes oh god oh god oh god oh no what? that sucked okay that one kind of i don't need to slow down Okay, let's do that again. Let's do it again. Take two. This way, this way. This way? Okay, good. See, that only took me two chances. Welcome to showbiz. Okay, that was easy. Voice acting? Voice acting? There you go. Oh, perfect realism! Perfect realism! そりゃよかった。感じのジェームズはどこ行ったんだ。あいつも撮ってたんだろ。ああ、撮ってたぞ。カズガさんのすぐ近くだね。え。おお。びっくりした。すさまじい。迫力でした。姉さんが言ってた
そうですねあいつがいなかったらこのカットも取れていないし狭い世界でふんぞり返っているダサい男のままだったでしょう Honestly, the thing about directors nowadays is usually they make their name off of like one or two like indie films and then like fucking Disney snatches them up or like their fucking blockbuster. And it's usually not the blockbuster that makes them famous, it's really those indie films that made themselves famous and then like Disney has like total creative control and like it, it never works out very well. ええまあ素材を生かすように補正をしてエフェクト処理をしていく予定ですそれちょっとだけ見せてもらえないかえどうしたんですか監督あんなにリアリティにこだわってたのにもうリアルやめちゃうんですかあかたれなわけあるかい俺はこれからもリアリズムは追求していくわただそれだけでは今の時代多くの人を楽しませきれないというのも薄々感じてはいた。こうしてジェームズ・テイラーのような若い感性でリアルを生かしたフィクションを作れるようになれば監督としてさらにレベルが上がると思ってな。もうもちろん。ぜひ見ていってください。良ければアドバイスももらえる
Find for help up some more. Check on kids. Maybe he stroke detail. Go for an important truth, but today you'll be taking on the very hard patrol. Trash cleanup. Trash. Okay, well, I guess someone's got to do it. Help! Thief! Mm -hmm. Hmm. Please, someone! That man stole my wallet! A thief, huh? Here, damn. Don't worry, I'll catch him. Oh, yeah. Asuka, why did you have to be extra about that? You suck! Hey, I did all of it correctly. Hey, work a little harder! What the hell? Who runs so fast on the sand? I'm part-time lifeguard. These ends in my domain. Crap. Here you are. Better make sure everything's still there. I will. Thank you so much. It's all here. You're a real lifesaver. He came rushing at me while I was laying all on my blanket. Sounds like he was waiting for the perfect moment. Try to keep any valuables close to from now on. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Thanks for everything. Keep up the great work, lifeguard. You got it. Man, I can believe people really snatch and grab here of all places. It's all too common, sadly. Places where a lot of tourists get hit the hardest. It makes me sick. <laughs> but hey, you saved the day, big guy. You got damsel and her things back. And I bet the thief's on his way, his way to death row now. Gotta say, Kasuga, with your quick thinking and passion, this be sure would be good hands if we win full time. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice of you. I've got too much else. Uh, I just got too much else going on right now, though. Sorry. Definitely think about it if you think so down. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to that day's arrival. Hey, bud, you must have worked out a thirst during that chase, eh? Hey? Got a nice cold one for your name on it. That name's spelled Hero. Uh, hang on tight for a sec. Oh. Oh, thanks. Sounds good. Raymond's been gone for a while now, hasn't he? Wonder if I should check on him. If he's going to get a drink, maybe we went to the juice cart? Hey, no. uh, uh, you know what? We can just take the taxi over here. It'll be faster to take the taxi. Oh, it's those drunkards. You're a good person. I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit あんたに邪魔ばっかりされたからよ。邪魔って。あなたたちが迷惑な言葉ばかりするからでしょ。うるせえんだよ。何が邪魔だ。勝手にルール押し付けやがって。こっちは高い金払ってここまで来てんだ
今日も一仕事しに来たところだ。大変なんだぜ、ライフガードって。So I get it, they put an invisible wall there because I just watch as some of these characters just slide. But maybe you should just, I don't know, pre program character interactions of the crowd behind you. It makes things look less, you know, weird. Because it, it, it makes it makes like like that woman who was just staring at the camera for a second look weird. It's like, oh, oh, am I on TV? Oh shit. I, I feel like I'm on TV watching a movie or something. They're filming over there. Maybe, maybe I need to get out of the way. Four twenty. Okay. Easy. Kore ni kori tara mo meiwak kakeru yo na koto wa yameru nda na. Izo, life guard. マナーを守れない奴らは全然いけ。くそ。いや、すっきりしました。あいつら来るたびにバカ騒ぎしてすごく嫌だったんです。みんなのビーチなんだから気持ちよく遊びたいものね。本当にありがとう。いや、そんな
um, and we also learned that almost everybody in Hawaii speaks Jap Japanese. So if you go to Hawaii, don't expect anyone to speak English. Expect them to speak fluent Japanese. It's, it's just ingrained within their educational system. あの新人ライフガードくんからしたらレイモンドはヒーローだもんね。そんな大げさなものではないですけど。でも失望されないようにこれまで以上に立派に。A guardian of life. You know, a lifeguard. この海は大丈夫だと思うぜ。きっと楽しいライフガードも増える。俺はここにずっといられるわけじゃないけど、この海のためにできることがあったら、これからもサポートしたいって思った。せっかく綺麗なビーチなんだ。マナー守って楽しく使わないともったいないもんな。そうですね。それでは共にこの楽しくて素
All right. More of a boomer game like Mega Man. It kind of is. I mean, there will be boom. It would be boomer. Ish. I mean, depends upon how many games I get through. It might not. It, we might get to um, as boomer as um. Ten years ago, maybe. I don't know. I have to double check uh, to when a certain version of the game came out. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for coming by tonight. Stay safe. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for Pikmin. Have a good night.